We had a new strain of COVID and a plan for a new vaccine. And in fact, in just the last few hours, Corinne Jean-Pierre says we are going to be pushing a new vaccine starting in September. Um, I didn't have time to get that sound bait, but great. So let's house, yeah. look at what we've got to deal with. Now, the CDC says that this new variant is more likely to infect you if you got the vaccine previously. Wait, repeat that. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. This means that if you've been vaccinated for COVID, you are more prone to be infected by the new strain of COVID. This is effing crazy, you guys. It's the craziest thing. It is on the CDC's website, and I'm going to show it to you. So many people are going to wonder why why, why they do that. Why would we take that vaccine, meaning we're going to get the next one? We're more likely. Um, so hold on to your hat. Now, here's the president on vacation in Lake Tahoe saying he has asked Congress to fund a new vaccine with your taxpayer dollars. Mr. President, can you say anything about the uptick of COVID cases and the new variant? Yes, I can. Matter of fact, I signed off this morning on a proposal we have to present to the Congress a uh, request for additional funding for a new vaccine. We were away. So pause real fast. So the so the the all the other vaccines that they had on the market that to claim that was uh, that get rid of COVID or prevent you from getting COVID. You're telling me they didn't work. So now they're creating another one that they're stating that this one will work and it will be mandated for everyone. I already told you between August and what the end of October of this year, be prepared. Matter of fact, even going forward, August this year, going all the way to next year. But definitely starting August of this year, going into uh, the end of October uh, this year. I told you already that this shit was going to start to kick back off. And then they so much information has already came out about what the vaccine is doing to when it comes down to heart, which is called uh, myocarditis. So everyone is understanding that the vaccine is weakening the, the, the muscles of the heart and people having people are having cardiovascular issues. Now, I'm not a doctor, nor am I a surgeon. I'm not a cardiomyopathist. I'm not any of that. But again, clearly, all of this information is coming out while our youth are having so much heart tr trouble. But I want to say this to you. They already have this already planned out and letting people, they already had this plan. They know people are going to go crazy regarding this shot. No one is taking, even the ones, people that already took it, do not want to get the next one. So let me pause this for you one second. You once being distracted by Donald Trump and his mugshot like that's going to change something. Let me show you something what they're not showing on all of these mainstream media outlets. Listen. In a move aimed at growing the bloc's clout, leaders of the BRICS Group of Developing Nations have decided to invite six new countries to become members of the group. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa said on Thursday, We have decided to invite the Argentine Republic, the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates to become full members of BRICS. The membership will take effect from the 1st of January 2024. Mm. Expansion could also pave the way for dozens of interested countries to seek admission to BRICS, which is currently made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. On today, August the 24th of 2023, BRIC invites six countries to join a bloc in a major expansion. The five BRIC nations account for over 40% of the world's population. Do you hear me? 40% of the world's population and the bloc is viewed as a counterweight to the U.S.-led global economic order. The list of the invitees is significant as it includes some of U.S. allies, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and also Iran, which is heavily sanctioned by the U.S. You people not understand that all of these other nations and countries are ditching the U.S. dollar. Also, on top of that, United States debt ceiling is currently at $32.7 trillion in debt. Do you hear me? And the masses are more focused on the damn mug shot of Donald Trump. Pause. I had already told you all this is this this is what's happening. 
and is happening because of the cycles of the sun. You think that you were really born on a planet that you have to you have to earn to live on here. Water, fruits, vegetables, everything come from the earth. Electricity, gold, uh, copper, coal, uh, coal, uh, coal. All of this stuff comes from the earth. Heat comes from the earth. And you actually have to earn a living on the planet. And you understand the word earn is like a urn where you put ashes in to live on a planet that provides everything for you. Now, pause. Let me go into another video. During one of the upcoming solar eclipses, I mean, how rare is that? That just doesn't happen. We have two solar eclipses that are going to occur here in the span of less than eight months. During that time frame, we've got two comets plunging towards the sun. This is one of them that very well could be visible during this eclipse on April 8th. And looking at the path of totality over here at time and date.com this is the eclipse of april 8th of 2024 i've zoomed in on dallas and you can see the the dark line in the center is the path of totality austin waco dallas tyler san antonio and other areas in that dark orange line in the center of that map and here's a larger map of the path of totality in fact the path of the eclipse right here if you're anywhere in this shaded area you'll be able to see at least part of the eclipse if you're on on this dark orange line right here, you should be, if conditions are favorable, no clouds, you'll be able to see the entire eclipse. And they're calling this the, the Great North American Eclipse because it goes through Mexico, the United States, and parts of eastern Canada. So if you see your location in the dark orange on this map, you can see a total eclipse. And you might also see a comet during the eclipse. How about that? That is something that definitely doesn't happen very often. And once again, over here at timeanddate.com, this is what the eclipse is supposed to look like during totality on April 8th of 2024. And there's an outside chance that you might be able to see this comet right here, Comet 12P, during the total eclipse. I mean, this one here could definitely be one for the record books. And here's a map of the path of the eclipse going through Colorado, New Mexico, once again through Texas. If I'm not mistaken, and I think San Antonio is going to be in the middle of both of these total eclipses. This one here, again, being in October of this year, October 14th. Here's the path of the total eclipse, and you can see it dips down through North America, Western North America, down through Central America, and down through South America. And zooming in a little bit closer to see some of the cities in the path of totality, there once again, San Antonio. San Antonio is going to be in the path of both of these total eclipses. Albuquerque, just to name a few of the the larger cities odessa pause so again like i told you my people this is about the cycles of the sun so what's happening is right now because both of these eclipses meaning that we're moving into another uh, another dimension and in this dimension that we're going to we're going to move into is going to be higher frequencies higher um photon light higher cosmic rays beta gamma rays that's what's going to be coming to the planet so these people are already having problems with synthesizing the sun. So now that we're getting closer to the sun because we're being poured to the center of the cosmos, which scientists have already admitted this, that we are getting closer to the sun, that in the ozone layer is being removed. Now you have to start kicking in. This is where you kick in. You let all the information come out about Dr. Fauci and the, and the first, you know what, jab. And how I would how how ineffective it was and how harmful it was it is and then now you're you're going to kick another one to you're going to cook up another one and think people are going to accept that and this is where people are going to shut down this is where they're going to fight back against their government this is where all the chaos and and and, and, and havoc is going to to start nobody's going back inside their house nobody is going to get locked back down and no one is going to be forced to take something and put something inside of their body this is this is all destruction by design. We're paying attention to Donald Trump. We paying they got you paying attention to all of that stuff, but not understanding that all these countries are that are powerhouses. Just Russia and China alone can destroy America. Powerhouses that are joining together: Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, India. All of these countries, Africa, are now breaking away from the American dollar. They're going to collapse the dollar, and food prices are going to go through the roof. It's going to be riot. It's going to be chaos in the street. When the, and within the first 
six to nine months, they already stated it's going to be over 160 million people dead. You got to at least have at least six to eight months supply of food inside of your home, my people. I've been telling y'all this for the last several years, and it's not something like it's something like prophesied. You're not supposed to live the way that you're living. We have to get back to living with the earth. It is, it is what it is. You got to learn to live with the earth. And we're not going to we're not going to be living amongst species that is not us, but is literally destroying us from an infant state growing all the way up to what you call an adult state. So this is what's happening on the planet, whether we want to face uh, reality or not. But this is happening. And I told you this was happening a while ago. And now it's all coming to fruition. So I hope that you are ready, because if you got to get ready, you're going to be you're going to be one of the people that's out in the street. Just like in the book of Eli, that's out here looking for shit, and you're going to get, you're going to do nothing but kill each other. It is what it is. Reality check. This has nothing to do with the surface of the planet. This has everything to do with the with the shifting in the cosmos. And both of these eclipses lining up is telling you, hey, it, the planet is moving in a complete, total different direction. Abundance and gratitude to you all.